ECDL Advanced Lesson 38 Creating a Table of Contents. It's possible in Word to create various reference features in a document such as tables of contents, indexes, cross references, and captions. Once created, these tables can be automatically updated if any information changes. A table of contents is based on styles within a document. Certain heading styles are chosen, and all text in the document that uses these styles is automatically included in the contents. We've been asked to open Topperville Hall, which is open on the screen now. This document has already been formatted with heading styles, so for example, if we look at the introduction, headings have been set up. Next, if you place the cursor on the line directly below the title, at that point press enter, type in the word contents, and then enter again. Let's center align the word contents, so go on to home and center. Then place the cursor on the blank line that's below the contents, and now we're going to put in a table of contents. So to do that, click on References, and then on the left, select Table of Contents. Now, some pre-formatted tables are available in the panel. We've got Automatic Table 1, Table 2, and Manual Table. But for the purpose of this exercise, what we're going to do is to select Custom Table of Contents. OK, with the Table of Contents tab selected, just have a look at the print preview and it'll show how the table of contents will appear in the document. Now if we drop down formats we'll be able to see various different options for the formatting of this table of contents. So for example this is what classic would look like, this is distinctive Looking at one further down, there's one that's formal. The one I'd like you to select for this exercise is the one called Fancy, and then select OK. As you can see, the table of contents has now been created. If the table of contents is being created from newly created styles, then what you would do then is, as before, go for References, Table of Contents, and Custom Table of Contents but then you'll see the options button. If you select the options button it will allow you to specify the order of the styles being used. So click on options and we've got the various available styles. At the moment the only thing showing is heading 1. If I wanted it also to include within the table of contents for example footers and headers so at that stage, when I press OK and I start looking down, what you'll see now is I do have the headers and the footers also included here. OK, so we've created a table of contents. I'd like you to save it as contents, leave it open on the screen, and what we will do is continue working with that next time when we're going to make modifications to the table of contents. OK, thank you very much for listening. Speak to you soon.